Welcome back to another MTGO Modern League. My name is Magix and we are going to rerun Yorion's four color control, this time with Omen of the Sea. Let's go! Alright, so then let's see how Omen of the Sea will perform in this shell. How it will feel. Will it be better than Wall of Omens? That is the question. We are playing a Yorion mirror match. Could be control. Could be anything. So, of course, we need a third land drop, and Supreme Verdict is bad. Unless he plays like a Kiki deck. It could be okay. I guess Archmage Shram is also bad in the hand, but I don't like taking mulligans in these control mirrors. It could also be an Urza deck, to be fair. Okay. We're not finding another land drop, so we might have to path our own Ice Fang. But that includes us finding a white source. Okay, I see missing a land drop. Not sure, no. Okay, so it is an Urza deck after all. Here comes the Emery. have any interaction against that. He found the bauble, so it's Luros 2.0. Oh, so now we have to path it. We'll have to find a land drop. Nope. No land drops for us. Why would you deck? Damn you. Not cooperating again. Only two lands and 12 cards. That is not ideal. Could have been a good turn if we just have drawn two lands here with an Uro and Path, but yeah. Well, now he plays Land Urza. He can't even Supreme Verdict it. Okay, just an Uro. Yep, ramping ahead. No land drop, GG. It's not even worth playing on here. We never get back in this game. Well, that was a quick one, right? Magic can be fun sometimes. Let's try to turn it around in the post board game. On path to exile. The gust can be okay. Maybe that is too much. Shiok can be okay.
guess against Gilded Goose, the Kaya Skyle is only average. Ktua may be fine. Ashiox can be okay, but also kind of awkward against Galvanic Blast, if that makes sense. Need answers against Emery, I feel like. Let's cut one of the omens, I guess. Okay, two Uros again. No blue mana here. Makes it a mulligan. Alright. So going down a land or what again? Yeah, I think I risk it and go down the land. All right. Are you doing majority again, deck? Are we not able to draw a third land? That would be really sad. Really, really sad. With two additional draws. Oh, deck. Okay, let's try to hit a land drop, shall we? Well, we are unable to hit our land drops, so we can never play this deck again. <laughs> again, 12 cards, no third land drop here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And then, yeah, he just Uros away. <laughs> Try to hit the next land drop, or else I can concede. Yay, we did it. Well then, let's see if you have Mystical Dispute or anything. Nope, alright. Can kill Urza here if we draw another land. Super Supreme Verdict. Mm-hmm. 
I'll replace a row out most likely. Or the bird even. No, just more others. Okay. Yep, and Emery too. X. Ashiok can deal with this graveyard, but it's not a lot we are doing here ourselves. Fairy will most likely die. Kind of playing the tap out game that I don't want to play with my deck here, because he's constantly forcing this action. Attacks the Ashiok, okay. Why did he not attack with the construct too? Where's the catch? Okay, he wants to make mana with it. Or the bird, maybe. Okay. Need a fetch land for the supreme verdict now to at least clean the board away. Nope, fell again to hit this damn land drop. <sighs> Now, oh, even if I hit the sanctuary, I can't even draw into it with the, the fairy bounce. So, I guess we have to bounce the astrolabe. I have to find that sanctuary here. Oh, it's game over. Okay, that's not the sanctuary, so we are dead. Send bye bye. Thanks, mana base. You ruined this first match for me. 
and it was not even the colors, but it was hitting the land drops. Again, 80 card mirror. Let's see if it's another Urza. Let's try to hit that third land drop again. Nope, not this draw. <laughs> okay, so this time it's a bird deck. Okay, we managed to hit a third land drop. Elementals, okay. So he rams ahead here. Lotus Cobra, eh? Okay. Flicker Wisp on what? This? Okay. Like, sure. We can take the bird and just Supreme Verdict here. We have to. Okay. Can put something on top.
Guess we go to eleven then. Uh, old fountain. Still have to use the adult fountain here for the double white. Okay. I can play this. So comes the Omnath. Two more cards left. Can't play the, the fairy out here, unfortunately. So we only have Path to Exile up. And Forest Hardcast, I guess. To hit that land drop, finally. Yep, sure. Let's hope that we can ride this to ferry to victory here. Sure. Any more cards. I 
of ruin, okay. Pima raids. Okay. As long as the fairy lives, I'm fine with that. Major Shram, okay. Um, okay, then we hold up. Mark Major Shram. This is gone. Noble hierarchy, sure. Just in case, this will kick it. Okay. It's better than a wall right now. Mm, so he is a go white deck of sorts. So we had luck that we had the supreme verdict there. I'm not sure if he brings in counter magic or whale of summer to be good. There was, uh, was a lot of green stuff going on, and he could play maybe something like choke or what have you. So I think that other gust is fine. So Kaya's Skull doesn't seem that great. I'm sure about Whale of Summer, he could also have something to counter, but we did not see something that we, or see any force or stuff like that out of him. Um, Ice Fang seems okay, I like the removal. I like the Teferi to stop any instant shenanigans, like Ephemerate. Um, maybe 4 Ether Gust is a touch too much. So I guess blinking my basics is kind of annoying with the abundant growth. J seems fine, cryptic seems okay. Maybe we don't need three cryptics. Could also bring in Mystical Dispute and Friends, so Unsure about Whale of Summer. I need more information about his deck. Uh, the sand has again issues with the lands, so I ship it back. At least it has some manner, I guess. Gain okay, three, okay. It's fine target to blink, I guess. Stuff that we can't play. Okay. 
Like that. Try to hit a land drop. Yep, made it. All right. What do you do, my friend? Fifteen. Flicker Wisp. Okay. Can flicker the Harbing, alright. Could pass it to prevent a good top deck. Then he can only blink the Flicker Wisp and the Life Gain do to next turn. Seems okay. Let's try to get rid of it. Then hope to find a green source for the Ice Fang. It's the green source, and we also have a Teferi on top. I like that to ferry to be honest. Because he's soon kind of grinded out and then yeah, we only need another land drop really to get going. Can also pitch it to force, I guess, because we have Yorion to get some value out of this, maybe. We shall see. Let's grab a breeding pool so that we have triple blue up. Okay, there's the fifth land drop. Up to ten. Revelark. Power two or less. We can get back the Riven Reef. Don't have to path here yet. Is there anything I want to get with uh, Mystic Sanctuary? I don't think I need the second path, here, path to exile here yet. Let's drop the Teferi. Let's see what he will do.
doesn't matter too much because he would have would have also protected with an ephemer rate and stuff, so unless this kills the fairy here, we are good. Can get the path back. Then also play out our bird, I guess. So he is empty, that is all we have to beat. Okay, he has drawn a card. Now we are flooding out here, unfortunately. Um, it's kind of bad. There's nothing in the bin now, so he doesn't get value out of it anyways anymore. So Revelock is gone for good. Now I need an answer for the Riven Reef. We can find another path to Excel here for this one. The Gust can also do it. I don't think we need the Jace right now, but it's better than a random draw, I guess. So might as well keep that top, shoot the turn back. See if he has another flicker effect here. Okay. Uh, what did you choose to do with it? On top. Okay. You can flicker your life gain, dude, I guess. Okay. Okay. Okay, so he has the Rhythm Reef on top. This is what we have to beat again. Can get a second path to exile. And pass this, I guess. Just land drops on top. So I have to path this because else with the exalted trigger it will attack and don't want that. We know that he will draw the Ribbon Reef, so he has one additional draw, but so be it. And we have to deal with that later. Maybe with a fatal push or something. Okay. Still not big enough here. It's no good attacks against the 4-5. That's the case. A three mana, okay. I 
Shitstorm. Oh, step that. Could bounce the bird. I think bouncing omen is fine here. This gives us most options. Shoot the turn back. No need to attack here yet. Just crew card advantage with my planeswalkers. Use Yorion as an oversized bird blocker, and there we go. Just need the land drops to cooperate. <clears throat> Maybe I should forgo the blink value and just go with Serum Visions or something to fix my land drop count. Third match. Let's go. Mm, opponent doesn't want to join the game. He's afraid. He knows that the bird is hungry. Does not want to join the party. Search the opponent. Okay, let's go. We are always on the play here. Okay, opponent does not have a commander. He has Sky Ruder. Okay, so we face a combo deck. And we have one counter spell and four land drops. Well, now I can't complain about land drops this game. So, well, I guess I can complain if we only draw lands from now on. Oh, he's on the play. Okay. Seer of the Many Faces. What is that? So it's a copy effect, okay. Well, I hope that he doesn't have Cavern of Souls in hand, so that we can counter this guy Ruda with Archmage Charm. That is the plan here. <laughs> I shouldn't jinx it. Man deck, come on. No more land drops now, please. We have five. That's all I need. It's all good. And he has the Cavern of Souls, so... Kind of screwed already. Now I need a path to exile and Topi Bricks. <laughs> he even has the answer against that. Wow. Crazy man. Crazy hand. And we have to hope that he bricks on land drops. Something. Or that we find a Teferi to bounce that, and a Cavern uh, Field of Ruin against that, I guess. Hmm, nothing, okay. Right. 
probably have to counter any ram spell he has here. Needs two more mana, and he has two caverns now, so Fatal Push does nothing here. I kind of don't want to play the Ice Fang, but I have to cycle for more interaction. Any non-land permanent on the battlefield, okay. Copy Chalice for zero, or Abundant Growth, okay. That works too. Attach it on the Swamp here. That's a cool play. Deck, path to exile. Uh, need something to bond that first. The fairy. Good enough, I guess. Oh, cryptic is away. That's away for sure. Can also stall a turn. Bouncing a land drop. Could be fine. Draw a card. Now nah, there's path. Now we only have to deal with this damn chalice, I guess. Okay, he misses land drops, so we pick up back the path. Uh, the the cryptic back to the hand and play the fairy here. Uh, da, 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 da. Mystic Sanctuary. Answer is yes, of course. Can also answer this with the fairy soon. But this way we can play Omen of the Seas out again. Seems fine. I hope he doesn't have spirit guides or something like that. Atlas summoning. Yeah, I can't do anything against that. Unless I hit force here. So let's try to force. Dig for it. <laughs> gotcha, I guess. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, deck. Oh, you're doing me good. Wow, and a second force. Nice, nice, nice. Another path to exile, sure. Two, three, four, five. Play Yorion, bounce that and that. Oh, I think I want to bounce that now because. All right, do I have to bounce that? No, I want to bounce land drops, right? Yeah. I don't need the the bird yet. I guess. I guess we try to ride a fairy to ultimate. That is my plan now. Like stall a few more turns. Try it like that. Could crack that actually and just yeah, screw the bird, like two three, crack this, untap two, have cryptic up. 
that's fine. Try to find another Mystic Sanctuary here. Perfect, and the Cryptic even. Top, top, definitely. Okay. Sanctuary, pick up cryptic. Say yes, draw it. I guess we only need two more turns now, so... Yep. Perfect. All right. Rough Digger's Cage is an answer to that nonsense. Um, I don't think Kaya's Guile is important. I don't think Fatal Push is important. Um, mm -hmm. I have not seen a lot. So I'm not sure what we are looking for exactly. Let's maybe try it like this. I don't know if he brings in Vader Summer or stuff like that, so... Maybe a rejection is good enough because he brings in Shadows of the Void, but meh. We have to bounce it or deal with it with a tuck. Yeah, the Supreme Verdict is probably not good enough. I was thinking the last time we played against that, it had uh, also Primeval Titan in it with the Field of the Dead. In which case, Supreme Verdict is still okay. We have three land drops and Time Reveler here, which can bounce Heartless Summoning, so I think I will keep. Snapcaster is not great, but still, I think I have to keep that based on the land drops. Could have a chalice on one again. Okay, fourth land drop. Breeding pool. Not the breeding pool, okay, heartless summoning. Oh, okay. Is something to bounce for sure. If he's on a Penta Prism build, I maybe want the rejection. Chalice on one, sure. Want to stop drawing lands here? What will this accomplish? Like stalls for a turn, or maybe we draw something good. Yeah! More land drops for the team. 
Maybe a Jace next turn would be okay for the Brainstorm. But now I need a counter spell for the guy Ruda. It's only one more mana. Okay, he misses. Wow, okay, that is lucky. The situation's Omen of the Seas is okay. Don't want more land drops, even if it can answer. <sighs> answer Kevin also, also, come on. What are my options here? Like, I, I can't. Yeah, I can hold op open Supreme Verdict, I guess, with the fairy. So we have that going for us. So I'm not playing the bird out and aim to crack the Omen of the Seas, if nothing else. Yeah. So next turn, he will have it. I don't want to fetch here because I know I have a lot of lands on the bottom. Now we have a decision to make with playing the Graft Digger's Cage and bouncing that. Just hoping that he fizzles and go for Supreme Verdict. Like, I think I uptick one more turn and go for both cards. Hope that we don't die. Let him do the Gairuda stuff here. At least the Pentad Prisms become unusable then. So he has like one shot or two shots now. Might not go for is because we can counter. If that makes sense. So next turn we can bounce that, play Grafdigger's Cage and play the bird out maybe. Okay, so this one is useless now. Okay, that's coming from the command zone. I think we have to do it now. So, uh, the cage will be milled now. That is, of course, dump. I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, we have to hope now that he bricks. If he doesn't hit another guy, Ruda. And he did, of course. Ah, come on. Or a third one. Make it this. Okay. Damage. And the fourth one. No more guy, Rudas. I had never such luck when I played the deck. Come on. Come on, fizzle. Nope. Can't one shot us yet. Needs to hit the Dragon Lord, I guess. And he fizzled out. Okay, so. Da -dum. Da -da -da -dum. What do we want here? He did not hit. 
Oh yeah, we, we hit the cryptic. Uh, three, four, one, two, three, but we can't cast the cryptic. All guy rulers are gone, so he can't have a guy ruler in hand. So guess we go with force. If that makes sense. Or just with the Archmage Charm, yeah, why not? Let's pick up the Archmage Charm. Oh, okay. Everything else is gone. Good to know. He had it in hand, okay. He has only one in the deck. Like, usually they play two for exactly this reason. Or he just has drawn it. Oh. Like, we could have picked up the cage, bounced the chalice, and play the cage. But these decks usually run an answer against Cage after sideboard. But then we also would have had Path to Exile. So all in all it seems like a better play because we have two hate pieces and we had one Supreme Verdict anyways. Yeah, I probably should have bounced the Chalice. That was dumb. But he did hit good, like I had not so much good hits when I played the deck. Uh, two land drops, a lot of four drops, and an Uro. If it's burn, we are on the draw, we are screwed. If it's junt, we may have a chance. Let's see if it's a grindy Lurus deck or an aggro Lurus deck. And it's burn. Welcome to Thunderdome. Pretty much dead here. Starts with a Rift Bolt, which means Eidolon, which means Fatal Push was a good turn, a uh, good draw. Still need more land drops. Not Mana Leak. Go to 17. We have the Uro, so we have at least a plan. Swift Spear, Spike, and already down to 12. Let's let me go to 11. Seal of Fire, sure. Could have an idle one too, so... Still can't take the damage here, I think. Skull crack, okay. Go down to 9.
Now we can seal of fire us, play Luros and try it again. So I want to hold up the mana leak. If he has another land drop, of course. Screw the critics, we go down to four. We are kind of screwed anyways. If I mana leak that and he has exactly a red white source and plays out Luros, nothing really bad happens. So I think I'm forced to mana leak that. Then we go to three already. Okay. Have to play the life again out. Now well, let's hope that Uru is good. Go to five. Might be not enough. Going to four is scary, that's for sure. Can fetch a white source for Path to Exile. It's a creature. Lightning Bolt, okay. Then we play out the Uru and go up to four again, most likely. Maybe we find an untapped source, like another basic, so I don't have to fetch here, so that we don't die against the Boros Charm from the top. He has two draws. Air yeah, Snapcaster Mage is a horrible draw. I need like a force now. Yep. And did not find the force. Now let's see if we are dead. That's the best I could do on the draw. I have seven cards in hand, but that doesn't matter. If he has only land drop, about okay. It gives us a fighting chance here. Rift bolts. Okay, he's missing land drops. Perfect. Okay, wow. That was very close. Uh, Kaya Skull in. Ravdigger's Cage in, Aethergust in, no, not Well of Summer, all the Aethergusts, yeah. If he plays Abbott, is it then a real burn deck with Goblin Guides, or is it with... Mm, more prowess creatures? Like, does he play Eidolon or not as well? I guess we find that out, like... These cards are all too slow, honestly. If he's not a full prowess deck with uh, Labbard Arch, then Ice Fang is fine. I like the life gain. The fairies can be okay. Because then he can't overload us in the end step. So I think I'm fine with that. Keep Luros in check have cheap spot removal and counter spells, some cyclers, some life gain. I think that's good enough. Since the curve has gone down, maybe I'm fine with cutting a land for one Jace. Let's try it. Very, very close. He was one point off. Uh, we are again on the draw. We have two cyclers and two removal spells and the other gust in hand. I think I have to risk it here. Trying to draw a second land drop. Love to hold up Fatal Push now. Okay. 
Yeah, let me play out Astrolabe, I guess. Push it next turn. Smash to smithereens would hurt, okay. Forest charm, let me go to 13 here. That's fair. We have a lot of life gain now in the deck. Force is not bad here. We have ways to deal with Lurus. So we'll fatal push that. I think I'm fine with Lava Spike, we are still at 10. <sighs> Not drawing the lands again. Again, 12 cards, only 2 land drops. That is kind of the story of this league. 12 cards in, no third land drop. No modo. Out to seven. I can't prevent that. Until when? Until end of turn, okay. Can play the mountain out. That was a good one for him. We have Ethergust up. Looks better now. We have Ethergust and Force. And can still deal with the Lurus. Forest Charm. On top. Okay. So at least we know what he will draw. Then for we know that no Luros will happen next turn. Wow, and Kaya Skull is really good here. I think I will pitch the Jays. Like, it's not even close. Is it close? Maybe the Ice Fang? The Ice Fang can draw us into more stuff immediately. Yeah, let's pitch the Jays. It's too clunky. There you go, the one of Jays could have been the land. I think I would have preferred the land. Um, let's attack the graveyard and gain four. Uh, I'll choose the right mode this leak. Gain four. Back to 14. Next land drop will mean that we could play out the Uro. Need something good now. Uro is not looking hot. Rift Bolt is not good. Other gusts are also not that great. Unless we hit the land drop here, then it's fine. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I guess we go to 11 then. I'll crack me, that's root. Don't want to give it to him back with the other gust, so I guess that's fine. Then we go down to eight, and unless he has double Boros Charm with the second white source, no, he can't have that here. Yeah, then we win because of Uro. I would have passed my own Ice Fang here now to hit the fifth land drop, I guess. Because then we have Uru and Path up. But yeah, that was good. 
Fatal Push paid off in both games. Pretty clutch to have this one mana removal spell. The Kaya Skull were nice. Shut off Luros there. My impression so far is that we have to increase the land count. But there was this game where we, against the Gairuda deck, where we have drawn eight land drops in a row. It was awkward. I don't know, somewhere has to be the gold middle to hit at least always three land drops. But not drawing too much on the late game. Shoot it. Seems to be a pretty quick leak, actually. And another Luros deck. All right. All three land drops, so we keep that. So far, always on the draw against these Luros decks. Is it burn again? No, this time it's uh, are it's hardened scales. Okay, I see. Walking ballista, it's good against us. I think that is another matchup where fatal push is good. Play ballista for one now. Place the Mimic. You have to hold up Mana Leak and then Archmage Charm and go from there. I know that they run uh, Whale of Summer post board, so then it becomes harder. Oh, yeah. <sighs> that is already hard to beat. How much more? Yep. How much more? Okay, that's it for now. Can you use Akmeja Sharm as removal against that? comes into play at a 2-2. I don't think I can waste my mana. Yeah, because can, exactly if he goes with an Arcbound Ravager now as his last card, I need to mana leak that. Definitely. So this is what we have to beat now. I guess inside next combat we can also take the worker for us and block one of these ballistas. Seems like a play we can make before we shock two. I think Moth is scary. Just the top deck, he can have Luros now. It's also scary. Try to hit a, hit a path to exile here. Okay. Don't.
Das ist dann was. Supreme Verdict, where are you? No Supreme Verdict. Then he goes with the Ravager next turn and we are dead. Nice game. One. <laughs> Fuck! Ah, well, okay. Let's try it again. Like rejection. Guess we have to go with Cage to prevent the Luros from going ham. Guess we need more removal spells. Malik is okay. Plague Force. Guess with Cage the Uros are a little bit awkward. I'd have to cut them. Go from there. Don't hit the cage. I think the Snapcaster is more valuable on average because you can double up on removal. Hangerback Walker can be an issue. Okay. Oh, the mana looks horrible again. Mulligan. Uh, better. Far better. Um... I actually been that. Go with the better manner here. And the business. Yep. Because we draw land drops anyways now. Okay, how does this work? My first time playing against it. Whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, so any creature literally, Put those counters onto this thing. Okay. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if it has counter, you can they put it on there. So it's like a modular storage. Okay, I see. Modular storage. And that thing again. It's like construct like a hardened scales on a dude the walking ballista again this time only one the cryptic something How does it work if he pings with this ballista now? Stores that a counter in here? Or because it's dead? It should be stored in there, right? Well, and then with animation module, he even gets tokens out of it. So I guess sacrifice and give me a spirit here. 
Oh, he has to decide if he wants to ping here. Let's kill that. If he kills his hardened scales creature, that's also okay. Okay, so one counter is on there now. And he can put it on here at the beginning of combat. And if it dies, he can put it back on there and then make a token maybe. If I understand it correctly. Yep, do. It's pretty cool. Let's hope he doesn't have a dismember here. I still want to kill it. Stores the counter back there and can make another Thopter, right? Yep, I see. Like an infinite loop here. And it's a May, but he has to target something, okay? Re ink mod next side. Oh. Another ballista. I don't think I can let that live. Don't whale me. All right. Does not shoot up the ink moth. Just makes more several tokens, okay. The spot removal spell, guess. We just draw lens again. Not the best here. Rejection is fine. This can go to one unless he attacks it with ink mod two. Oh, and it was it was at least gain five, I guess. Can also pump this token up with a tap ability here. The matchup where you want Wall of Omens to wall off these damn servos. Kaya's guy not looking that good against animation module. Yep. Just goes to one. Why does he not kill it? I mean, he had the possibility to kill it. Just with that ability, right? So he could, could have pumped that. Place out the Luros. Hate that cat. Okay, can't counter it here. Can't deal with it. I need a Supreme Verdict again. Oh my 
god. Okay, now we pick up the cryptic, I guess. Um... That will at least waste his turn, kind of, but we are continuously champions in drawing these damn land drops. Like, nine land drops now in 17, <laughs> whereas in most games in 12 you don't draw a third one. It's absurd again. Well, if you place the Lurus out now, we'll just counter tap. Not even close. Yeah. Okay, so you have to tap here. And he can fire up the ink mods to kill this Teferi, but what can we do here? We could also try to bounce one of them. Fires up the other ones and, and can at least not play Uru out. Let's try it. If he has Wild of Summer, this is game over. Ah, he can't because of Teferi, so... So yes, he can now kill Hero of Dominaria, but he has to tap out completely and can't replay Lurus. So that seems fine. Yep. Okay, I still need to draw something good. I guess he couldn't have played out Lurus anyways, because yeah, this always needs two mana. Well, there's a Supreme Verdict now. I always have to do it against these damn servos. That is the issue here. It doesn't accomplish much because he just puts counter back on there and then he makes new servos, so... <sighs> Probably should have just... Yeah, should have just tapped drawn. It was too cute thinking about bouncing the Nexus. He can still fire up the next size now and kill Time Reveler too. I have nothing in this game. Seems like a bad matchup. With this combination, I don't see you winning this game at all. So maybe we are forced to bring in the Uros. Yeah, now we lose everything again. I didn't have more Ice Fangs. Just draw lands. It's yeah. terrible. Well then, draw one. That is my companion, isn't it great? Ah. Well, guess we can draw into something. Uh, 
path to exile, okay. <laughs> How to beat that? How do you beat animation module with this other lid? Like, it's ridiculous. This goes way over what we are doing. Guess we have to Supreme Verdict next turn. Then hold up Path to Exile for something. Or just keep it like that. Can also pick up the Cryptic, I guess. More land drops, say go. Hmm. Well then, I guess it's time to build a cryptic lock, because else there's no way in winning this. Let's hope that he doesn't go ham with walking ballistas. So we know that he has a Lurus in hand. Need to find another draw engine here. Yeah, I need to get rid of that. Now I also need an answer against Lurus. Oh my god. Yeah, this is GG. I mean, yes, I made the misplay with the cryptic, but I have also just drawn infinite lands, so Kaya's Guile wouldn't have made a difference there. The Jace would have made a difference now, because I could get rid of the uh, graveyard stuff and make a spirit token to block the Ink Moth and uh, build up the cryptic lock with the Jace, but yeah, now it's too late. Um, nonetheless, sweet deck of our opponent. This other discard is pretty strong with the I mean, animation module, goes way over the top of us. Mm, okay, made a 3 2 in the end. So, yeah, Omen of the Seas was nice in a few situations, probably better than Wall of Omens all in all. Um, and the rest, yeah, I mean, if this hardened scale stack becomes a big meta player, I need more sweepers. It's probably sweepers against artifacts like engineered explosives on one or whatnot to deal with all this stuff. Um, 
maybe even just abrupt decays and stuff like that, I don't know. Force of vigor or something. Mm. Did not play against Titan decks, so the Ashiox were very weak. Did not find the third land drop against the Urza matchup, so don't know how this matchup will be on average. Um, the rest was okay. It was good to win the burn matchup. Now, yeah, I have to decide how we made my help. Might want to uh, configure the sideboard. Well, okay, that was it. Hope you enjoyed this league anyways, and see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.